Outsiders, hello, I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel, and if I got a meatball on a stick of a vid for you today, we're gonna check out one of my favorite local spots, Santiago Oaks. I'm gonna take you on my new favorite loop, and we're riding a new trail today, JT's Jump Line. I'm assuming JT built this with his friends and his crew, so thank you to JT, and without further ado, let's ride Santiago Oaks, people. Over now. And here we are in Santiago Oaks, on a beautiful winter day, it's 78 degrees in January. Day after Christmas, folks. We're gonna get some rain this week, so I'm excited to get out here today, get one in, and then look forward to some beautiful dirt after that. Taking you on a new loop. My, fa my new favorite loop here is San Diego Oaks. I go back and forth with where I ride, you guys. I love Laguna. I end up riding in certain places for a couple months and then kind of switch off. Right now it's San Diego Oaks. I'm here quite a bit now, like mixing things up and there seems to be some new things, features and trails popping up here. Love that type of season when it rains here, people are active on the trails, digging, creating new lines and features and trails. <laughs> I guess I already said that, but you get the gist of it. Looking forward to the ride today. Thanks for coming along as always. Onward and upward. I'm on the e-bike today, the YT Decoy, one of my favorite bikes. I was gonna grab the Jeffsy this morning, but when I went out there, I actually thought about it for a second. It's a lot easier for me to make videos <laughs> climbing and focus on the actual video when I'm on the decoy. I know a lot of people still get annoyed at e-bikes, but I think that's gonna be a thing of the past in the next year. We can all get along. I appreciate both. First trail on this loop is gonna be Cactus. They've done some work on the berms, which is fantastic because this trail is one of the flowiest in the area. And one of my favorites. You don't get much flow in SoCal, so you take it where you can get it and appreciate it. That's, at least that's my, my frame of thought. Skip a couple there. And you got some chunky chunk on it as well. Got options on cactus. Man, it's so green. This is so brown in the summertime, blown out. And I mentioned how much I love the winter here in SoCal, I think I have. And we're taking Cactus straight up into the Bumblebee Climb. And then at the top of the Bumblebee Climb, we're gonna make a left at the crossroad here. Head up Grasshopper. We're not gonna take Grasshopper though. We're gonna take the trail to the left of Grasshopper. It's a black diamond, pretty steep and blown out and loose usually. And it's called Hawk. You'll notice it on your left hand side, right before the trailhead to Grasshopper. You're gonna start off pretty steep and choky. This is even more loose and blown out in the summertime. I like to go down this little crevasse. Steeper in person for sure. More Lucy Hennessy. We 
a weird little drop here into a right-hander. That one's a little bit tricky. And that's Hawk. And we're headed straight right. If that makes sense, you saw it. It's a fact. And we're headed up Oak Trail. This is usually known as the three B's and it's a hell of a climb. I'm wearing the Apple Watch 8 for the first time on a ride today. I usually have the Ultra, thanks to Urban Armor Gear for sending it over. And for the plethora of straps, so many good ones. The fabric ones are so comfortable on the ride. And uh, it's been nice when I'm on the ride to be able to message people back and have to pull my phone out. And I'm switching back and forth because I'm planning to make a video on the 8 versus the Ultra. Is the Ultra worth it? Is it too bulky? I like to swerve through the play area here. A little bit of a shortcut. Not gonna do any rollers or drops today. We're sticking to the loop. But this is a fun area to have some training on and just practice your rolls and you know, things of that nature, people. Poopies. <laughs> All right, JT's jump line. Missed that one. It's nothing insane, folks, but rad spot to practice your doubles and get those jumps in to take up to some bigger stuff. And it leads into Todd's trail with some drops. And some doubles and some smooth single track to take you back up. And if you want to get another lap in, just take the single track around and pop back over for another spin. All right, this time we came up all the way to the top. I noticed there's some drops to lead into JT's. It's a great area to practice your uh, thingamajigs on. And then the trail's right over here. And this does pick up speed as you go. So remember, you can't break in the air. <laughs> you could try. So far. All right, and from JT's jump line, you're just gonna head up further, locate the flag and follow it to another little play area, which I featured many a times in this channel. So today we're gonna cruise through, make it a line, pop into a trail, and just enjoy the hell out of it. I'm gonna pop on over here. You can do the drop or the roller. Today I'm sticking to the roller. And hit up this loosey goosey. This thing changes all the time. Oh yeah, there's the shoot, the poop shoot. And head up yonder. Even though this is a fire road, don't let it fool you. It's one of my favorite sections of the oaks. There's 
people on it. Oh well, we missed that section. There's still some left. Anyway, it's got like super fun single track that veer right and left along the side of the fire road. And it leads you straight into the best descent here at Santiago Oaks. Shoots, that's up next folks. We're gonna check that off the list. And this is the waterfall section. Jump for the wind here, I always say that when you come off this ridge line, especially when it's in a wind season. I didn't know that was a double. Next up, we've got this gravelly, loosey-goosey, the loosiest part on this trail, for sure. jump right there leads you into the bottom section with the knuckle sandwich coming up right here in the middle scarier in person than it looks on camera but it's okay Super fun. And now we're back where we entered the climb. Thank you. And that's about done. If you ever did to do that, I'll see you guys next week. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Adios.